King's Quest Six. Hey, I everybody. totally missed the. That was not synced. Resync it, like, like split screen it and sync me up. Oh, like I'm gonna do any editing on this. <laughs> Hey everyone, uh, Dave here, joined by Nick. Uh, today, as we are recording this, it is Friday, May 10th, 2019. Don't tell them that, they'll know how long it took you to get it out. No, but that's important because today, as we are filming this, is the 35th anniversary of the original King's Quest. It's true, we had discussed that. I, I forgot that that was actually today. <laughs> you, you forgot we weren't just well, doing this for fun. We discussed trying to release it for today. <laughs> And then went, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so then I was like, well, if we shoot it on that day... Then it matters. Then it's important. So uh, so to celebrate... If uh, we could live stream it, if we had those kind of capabilities. Yeah, but my computer sucks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. So to celebrate this milestone, we are playing uh, not the game that is the 35th anniversary of, but uh, the game that we really like from the series... Um, not that we don't like the first one, too, but but this is the one we really like. I spoke all about it. There's a whole video. You click click the thing, watch the obsession on King's Quest VI. But uh, we're not going to play this the way it should be played. <laughs> we're stripping this game for parts. Yeah, we're, we're basically... Uh, Nick is going to attempt to speedrun this because, you know, real gamers don't care about art or story or narrative or, like, any of the things that make the game fun and good. Real, games are, real gamers are all about the stats. So, basically, a bunch of years ago, I was really curious about the fastest possible way to beat King's Quest VI because it's an epic game. And you, you can adjust the speed... Like, the physical speed things happen, which doesn't really affect how hard it is to interact with the game. So I thought, I wonder if you put it on the fastest speed and literally didn't do anything superfluous, how long would it take? Um, now, I didn't actually beat the game while doing that. What I did was I timed myself doing the clicks. So it was like, anytime I misclicked, that didn't count. And I would, like, subtract that time. So the idea was... If every click is precise and you never hesitate and it's all on the fastest stuff, it would still take about 28 minutes to beat the game. Maybe a little more. Less than 30, more than 28. Of course, that was on uh, another a different computer than this one. It's true. Not being run through. We're, we're running. This is on my MacBook through Scum VM. So we did a trial run and it was. Slower the yeah the physical movement on fastest speed was slower. Yeah, we did we did do a test playthrough right before filming this just to make sure one that uh, Nick remembered how to play the game, and and because you know part of this speed run involves not getting stuck on the parts of the game designed to get you stuck like well and we've, <laughs> we've encountered glitches before on certain parts of the game so it was yeah. to like feel out where the glitches are. It it was a beta run. It was just quality assurance. It was uh. Pretty much. So. Because other than that, it's been years since I've played this game. Like, the, running through it this morning for the practice, that is the first time I've played this game in years. And, uh, and honestly, last time I played this game was to get the footage for the uh, Obsession of the Moment video. And before that, the last time I had really sat down and played this game was probably a good, like, four or five years before that. It was probably the night that we beat it the hard way. <laughs> I've... I know I've, like, tinkered around in it a few times. Oh, no, I guess but I you beat it once since then because you beat it with all the points, and I wasn't there with you when you did that. So, yeah. so anyway, it's, uh, the point is, it's been a while since we played this game, and even as kids, most of our time playing this game was just being stuck places because we didn't understand basic... It was being stuck and fucking around. That yeah. was, like, most of our gaming experiences as a child was fucking around. It wasn't actually beating games. But this is also just such a fun game to fuck around in, because it's so atmospheric. It's beautiful. It's like, and you go to these different islands, and you're like, wow, look at this place, look at this place, what's going on here? I mean, someday I will do an armchair Imagineering just pitching a King's Quest theme park. Yeah, but... Daventry the land, that would be so good. But, uh, yeah, the game is so atmospheric, so much fun to waste time in, which is why we're not doing that today. We're just zooming past everything that makes the game We are appreciating worthwhile. none of this. <laughs> Taking the whole goddamn thing for granted. We are that is our goal today. We're celebrating 35 years of this franchise by doing it wrong. By beating it in 35 minutes. That's my goal. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be harder. I'm not gonna successfully do that. But okay, uh... If I beat it in under 35 minutes, then I'm treating myself to something. I don't know what, but I'm... 
I'm treating myself to something. And if you beat it in uh, between 35 minutes and 50 minutes, we'll call that a silver medal. Yeah, no, that, that's yeah. what I, I feel like. That is me succeeding. Yeah. Is between 35 and 50 minutes is like I successfully sped run, speed run, speed ran, S- sped ran, <laughs> sped ran, <laughs> sped ran. I uh, yeah, I'll basically between 35 and 50 minutes to me is acceptable. That is like it's like getting a B. It's like you passed and you're not embarrassed. You don't want to look for extra credit. Between 50 minutes and an hour is like a C. It's like okay, you could have done better, but y- you got there. Anything at over an hour, I feel like, is me failing and me needing to practice more before I can really call it a speed run. Okay. But again, this is a game not designed for speed running, so... <laughs> not at all. And go. Boom. So a lot of the things that'll slow you down here is just the... Clicking the goddamn thing. Oh wow, only took two tries. Yeah, misclicking is gonna be a big thing, but... Especially because there are some pixels that are way too precise in this game. But also just the animations you have to wait for. Yep. (laughs) Things like that. See that? That... I I wasted a little bit of time there just (laughs) in... Nightingale. You wasted valuable I hesitated clicking the Nightingale because I was like, I think that's what I need. Oh shit, I gotta talk to him. It's like actual conversation, human interaction. Here we go. Boom. Yeah. (laughs) I am, see, I'm butchering some of this, this play by play, like getting the things where they need to be, remembering that I need to be like clicking through, that I'm allowed to click at a faster rate. Oh, I gotta get the mince. Don't let me leave the island without the invisible ink, because that's coming up (laughs) in the next 45 seconds, and I absolutely could. Well, okay, depending on how long it takes him to fucking leave. Okay, first off, sound off in the comments if you've never played this game or watched a real watch through, (laughs) watched a real playthrough of this game, and it just sounds like Nick is a babbling (laughs) lunatic. I would love that, actually. Just, I clicked on it, right? I got it? Okay. Yeah, Alexander already has a mint. (laughs) You greedy fuck! Don't take the mints! They're for the kids! Don't you know kids love going to pawn shops and getting mints? Okay, so it took you three minutes and 20 seconds to get off the Isle of the Crown. Damn, I I feel like in a real speed run, like if you're really doing this legit, you should do that in under three minutes. Partially because I didn't. (laughs) That's that's really what the standard is. What did I nearly accomplish but fail at? That is the line. What did I do wrong? Okay, now I know. We assume I did something wrong. The question is what? Wind faster, Alexander. Ah, chill. It's He's just about to murder me. They're going to throw me in the water. Nothing to worry about. How does the ear guy not hear the winding up of the mechanical nightingale? <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's just a nightingale. And some weird mechanical object. <laughs> it's, a mi- it's, a, it's a nightingale wearing a watch. <laughs> also, when we were doing our practice run earlier... One, we looked up how to do the Cliffs of Logic because they only exist for copy protection and it's it's cheating of the game to have them there, so we don't mind cheating. Right, well, because basically, the only way, like, once you solve them, everyone writes them down and just remembers, oh yeah, that's that's what these are. So the fact that we did that in the past but can't find our written version, yeah, we it's are. not cheating to find someone else's written version after you've already solved them a hundred times. Okay, so you are looking for uh, Diagonal Guy, this guy, Blue Manchu Guy right next to him, and then, yeah, Tennis Court and... Flying? Yeah, Flying Guy. Okay. Which is uh, spelling out rise in the language of the ancient ones. I, okay, so it's rise, rise, yeah. Or, or no, I'm sorry, it's, spell, it's spelling out sore in the language. Sore! Oh, right, that's true. Okay. How does Alexander know this? Was he just a really good student after he discovered he was a prince at 18? Yeah, there's no, like... Okay, so if you read the King's Quest Companion, he tells Derek Carl Vegan, like, your guidebook really helped me, which for the player is true because the guidebook is the instruction manual. And it's the thing that has the answers to all these puzzles, or at least the clues that get you past the puzzles. But 
in universe, he has never encountered anyone else who has ever been to the Land of the Green. Uh, like, according to the opening cutscene, no one's even heard of it. I once saw on um, some t-shirt website, you know, some probably illegally sold fan-made shirt that was the graphic of the first Cliffs of Logic Stream, the Ignorance Kills, Wisdom Elevates. And I considered buying it for King's Quest VI fandom, but then I thought, like... A shirt that says Ignorance Kills Wisdom Elevates is going to make me look like the most pretentious douchebag to people who don't know what the reference is. <laughs> Maybe circle in Sharpie the word rise. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, we got to make Shamir go away. Yep, this is annoying. So I got to basically, it won't let me crawl into the hole I need to go into until we make this fucker go away. Mm. The only way to make him go away is to leave. But if I go to the next screen then what's going to happen is I'm going to be taken captive and thrown into the labyrinth. So I need to backtrack. Did you go on the step? Fuck! What the fuck is that? See, this is why I saved, because this is some bullshit. Okay, well, hang on, mark it. That... Okay, 16.49. Okay, we've only been at this 15 minutes, or 16 minutes, right? Yeah, do you want I'm to- I'm starting over. You want to start over from scratch? Yeah. Go to Patreon to see- <laughs> To see the to dead see, run! To see the run that Nick failed at. Yes, I like that. I like that too, because I need money. <laughs> I am very broke right now. So this is, uh, round two. Well, that's kind of good, because I fucked some stuff up the first time. So we, I did nail some things the first time, but... So we did one practice run off-camera and one practice run on-camera. That's basically <laughs> what we did. No, I failed once on-camera, Dave. Do not sugarcoat it. We I practice. know what happened. Failure is just practice that kills you. <laughs> Unanticipated practice. <laughs> Failure is just accidental practice. I like that. That We're making that a t-shirt. Oh, fucker, come on, talk to him. <laughs> Okay, I gotta, I gotta, gotta get my head. So back the paintbrush is worth exactly as much as a mechanical nightingale. Well, there's no paint with it, and it's probably not gonna break as easy as the mechanical nightingale. That's true. It just seems to me like in this era, the mechanical yeah. nightingale would be a more impressive feat. According to the King's Quest Companion. Oh fuck! Okay, I'm starting over. Okay, we're not, we're not even counting this one. <laughs> no, we're not even counting this one because I went to the wrong island and I've been fucking up. We're gonna pretend that one never happened. Yeah. It... Okay, so this is actually uh, round two we're doing of this, cause uh... I DIED ON THE FUCKING CLIFFS! Problem is, I've been having so much fun replaying it today, that I'm forgetting that it's like, no, you're supposed to blaze through this shit. The problem is- kind of becoming chill. The game is working its magic on you, and you're trying to play it the way it's supposed to be played, by enjoying the wondrous atmosphere. I'm not even- that gives me more credit than I'm due. It's not <laughs> even that I'm trying to play it the way it's supposed to be played, it's that I'm incapable of bastardizing it to the necessary extent. Yeah. Fuck, I'm, tr I'm jumping the gun on going to my inventory, and it's, it's costing me seconds. See, the thing is, so many of the mechanics in this game are designed to actually give you a minute when you need them. Right. Because that this is, is a thinking man's game. <laughs> or woman's. It's two thinking women's game. It's uh, Roberta Williams and Jane Jensen's. There you go. I'd like to point out that um, they never come to a consensus about what did arrive, and it never... like <laughs> They just bicker amongst themselves, but it is definitively not human. They're just satisfied with the fact that it's not man. It never occurs to them, man is the only thing that could possibly convince... I don't know, I give that bookworm some credit. I think he could pull this shit well, that's off. that's true. You that's just have no on. incentive to. On this island. It's a furry, singing, minty, invisible, stenchy creature. It smells like shit and tastes, tastes like delicious. Mint. It smells like shit, tastes like mint, furry as lint, but looks like... Nothing even in you switch. <laughs> so the logic here is that these are wallflowers, and you're asking them to dance to distract them. Ha! It's stupid. Fucking flute on the flowers. We 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 discovered this by accident because we knew we knew why. Let me clarify. Hole, I'm hole. trying to get the hole in the <clears throat> wall in yeah. case that was not apparent. That's a hole in the wall with arms and legs, and I'm trying to get it. And we knew we needed the hole in the wall, we knew why we needed the hole in the wall. We just didn't know how to get the hole in the wall. And we had like clicked everything else on it already. Anyway, we're not much of gamers, but whenever we encounter something in a game that we discuss that we find a solution to by accident, 
We call it a flute on the flower. Especially if it makes no goddamn sense. I mean, there is internal logic to that, but it's stupid. There's Lewis Carroll whimsy logic to it, but it's, yeah. It's, it's not gameplay logic, though. Like, like the idea that playing that's going to make, like, that they'll still be dancing after. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, yeah. it, it just doesn't add up. Did I get the tinderbox? Did you? I did not. Fuck. Do you want to start over? God damn it. Yeah. I've failed three times. Once it was from dying and twice, well once it was from a major fuck up. Actually, yeah, and once it was from a minor fuck up early on. So basically, we've already been commentating and joking around about this. So we might refer to things that are not in this video for getting. Because I can't keep track of what we've told you and happened. We apologize if we call back to something that's uh, only available on Patreon, but that's all the more reason for you to go to patreon.com slash doggins and see the extended footage of this attempt at a gameplay. It's, it's not even an attempt at a spit. It's an attempt at a gameplay. <laughs> that's the level we're at at this point. Okay. Are you ready to try this again? I guess that's... We'll find out, won't we? Are you ready for me to begin the countdown until I start the stopwatch? <laughs> yes, that I am ready for. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Blast off. Talk to him. Oh, talk talk the, to him. Fuck, the stopwatch stopped. Oh, no, we're starting over. That was not my fault. Ha ha ha, that feels good. <laughs> I fucked up this time. And it's early on, so restart. Attempt number five. Fifth time's the charm. Because it's the third, third time. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> third, third, third. <laughs> That's how you count, right? I mean, I guess if you start at three and then keep repeating three, then it's the third three. <laughs> oh, you assumed nine would be the third time. That's a common misconception. Nine is only the third third if you're anal about it. Five is the third third if you're cool about it. Although I will change my stance on that if we reach nine attempts. <laughs> Just saying. I think six times will be the charm because it's King's Quest six. That's dumb. You gotta click through the magic snap. Just keep snap skipping. Scene. Just keep skipping. Just keep skipping. The magic snap. I would need to rewatch this scene to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that once he explains Magic Smap, there he doesn't explain anything that makes it clear that what he means is map. Yeah, no, definitely not. Like he's just like. Oh no, he says transport to islands or something. He says it helps him transport to islands, but that's not enough to go on to be like. No, if you know about the map though. I yeah. If, I, if, if you I guess have I'll previous have to... knowledge of the map, <clears throat> if, and you're like, there exists this map. If Al Hazred knows the map exists, then that's one thing. That no, I, 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 that was always what I took away from it was Al Hazred is aware of this magical map and didn't know where it was necessarily, but like knew this was a thing. I buy that. You didn't get the invisible link. Fuck! <laughs> Attempt number five is no longer the third third. <laughs> God damn it! I even said, don't forget the invisible ink! That might be on me. For not <laughs> Originally you said you want to get this done in under 35 minutes. Let's get this done in under 35 attempts. I like that plan. That would be nice. Going back. Going back. Going back. Wait for that animation. Wait for... Hakim to take out the trash. Yes, according to the King's Quest Companion, uh, the pawn shop guy is named Hakim. And we see in the game itself that the bookseller is named Ali. So, it's a fucking Oklahoma reference. Yes, it is! How I'm going back here, right? Yes, okay. you're going back to the crown. Okay, for the new rule I realized. Every time I pull up the map, I'm gonna need confirmation of where I'm going. You know, that's Because that's the easiest way to fuck up, is to click the wrong island, so... But Whenever I go for the map, whatever we're talking six about, minutes in. I'm calling it, and we're uh, we're gonna just verbally confirm where I'm going. Remember that um, jingle for was it like a British metro or some metro system that was that like, that dumb ways to die? I've never heard of this. I don't think. 
Anyway, I would like to set a montage of King's Quest deaths to that song. <laughs> that, I love that. I, I don't think I've ever heard of that, and I love that. You That's... Never... What the fuck am I doing? Okay, I'm sorry. I, I need a sec to recalibrate my life. Um, we're going down here. I'm go... Fuck. Okay. <sighs> you definitely did grab the brick, right? Uh, yes, yes you, you definitely did, because they wouldn't put you in if you didn't have something you needed. Yep. Yeah, we didn't realize that as kids, that they allow you to leave and prepare only if you don't have all the shit you need. But also, even if we did realize that, we might not know what we were missing. No, it's true, we absolutely wouldn't have, but, uh, up. Shield, you need Shield, it. shield, thank you. I drew a thing there, but it was not a helpful thing. <laughs> I wrote a note that I was sure I wouldn't remember. <laughs> I drew some kind of ancient symbol to remind me of this. Too bad I don't read ancient symbols. Well, to be fair, that's how you beat the Cliffs of Logic. It's drawing true! Ancient symbols you don't remember. <laughs> if we were really anal about this, we might count how many clicks it takes to beat the game. Yeah, but I'm way fucking that up, because in order to do speed, I'm excessively doing clicks. You are cursed! Now take my priceless jewel! <laughs> Alright, let's get this fucker done. Now you are on a time limit here, because it is possible to just turn into a beast at this point. Is it? I've never seen that! Because we always immediately knew how to solve this puzzle, and so it was like... And it, it gives you a pretty long... Have you seen that, though? Have you, like... I have, but I don't remember what it looks like. <laughs> um... At some point, you should screen cap that for, like... But, you know, I mean... Fuck or walk. Who would believe Robbie Benson as the Beast? I know, right? As a prince who turns into a beast. That's just unheard of and insane. Trading this for the Nightingale, right? Yes. That's the other thing, is I draw a blank when looking here often. Because they don't even remove the item that you have. No. You've already put it back on the table. Also, your coin is spent already. <laughs> yeah. That is the most spent fucking coin in existence. I really don't like that I can't chuck items I don't need anymore. Like, I'm still carrying a goddamn stench flower. This chick is cool with me flirting with her on behalf of someone else while carrying a fucking stench flower. It's like, sir, you reek, but that rose is so goddamn pretty. Also, you're flirting on behalf of someone else, so this is, like... This is just as much Cyrano de Bergerac as it is Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, but she knows. She knows it's yeah. on behalf of someone else. That's true. <laughs> yeah, she's not like a Noria Glossop thinking you're talking of, like, this chum of mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Proposing to me in that awful roundabout way. Okay, so I'm doing a King's Quest video where I'm referencing Jeeves and Wooster. That is the most on-brandly esoteric video I've ever put out. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's up there. You are only a few clicks away from victory, my friend. See, this is where I gotta remember that it's better to left click, because if I accidentally click afterwards, I do the thing instead of changing up my uh, key. What's the time looking at? Uh, 30 minutes and 28 seconds. Fuck! We are down to the wire here. Oh shit! No, no, no! Fuck! I clicked one too many times! He killed me! <laughs> oh my god! I would lie when I said I need to left click. Do you have another one in you? I got another one in me. Do you have another one in you? I need to take a break, but yes. Alright, attempt number seven. I shouldn't be smiling, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Didn't even have to hear a single old lamps for new. Yeah, I don't- I think possibly, uh, on faster speed, they don't speed up how often he does it. I think- Because I've never once had to encounter that shit. I think the only thing they speed is your walking. Yeah, and the uh, animations of, uh, your actions. And not even all of those. I might as well do this while I'm here. Oh, fuck. Or not. <laughs> Jeez. How much time am I fucking wasted? That was, like, several seconds that I fucking- just pissed down the drain. I don't know why I said that. You don't piss down drains usually. I'm sorry. I'm on edge. This is my seventh attempt, and it it 
I should not be on a seventh attempt. Well, so. Alexander knows a little bit about piss, considering that in King's Quest Three, uh, you need to empty the chamber pot from time to time. You do. That is an actual task in one of these games. Mint. Yeah, that action's not speeding up. <coughs> yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, when I timed it back in the day, it was like assuming you were like swift and accurate with your mouse movements. <sighs> like, oh, boom, 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 boom. Actually, that's how I nailed it. But like, <laughs> it was like if every single thing you did was like that, where it's just confidence, precision, and accuracy. And uh, I'm not doing that because that's just so hard to do. And I knew, this is why I knew the 28 minutes thing was never going to be real. Because it's like, you just can't, no one is that precise with the movements. And it's not like on a keyboard where you can like get the feel for like, the series of keys you need to hit. It's a mouse, so you have to like, move it. Which is just, I almost just turned on the nightingale and wasted like 30 seconds of my life. Beast? No. Nope. Uh, no. Yeah. Back yeah. to the crap. See, this is why, this is why we check every time we pull out the map. Fun fact about this island, it is the only island where you can uh, use the map from two different screens. That's true, because you can use it from the dock. And I remember we experimented to see whether that would bring us to a different part of the Isle of Wonder so we didn't have to feed the guards. It did not. Nope. Now I might be remembering this wrong, but my memory is that I looked it up and the voice of both of the chess knights here, somebody in this game, and I think it's the chess knights here, is also the voice of the uh, Biff Tannen Museum in Back to the Future 2, who tells about uh, nice. when, when Biff married Lorraine. Married his high school sweetheart. Yes. I could see that. Oh, I want to make sure that's actually on there. Yeah, this is not where you want to die. Nowhere is where you want to die, really. It's true, but this is, like, super annoying. So, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so up here at the top, I got the tinderbox, right? We did that. Did we? I feel like we did. I just, I'm looking for a confirmation. I, 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 these runs are all running together in my head. They are. Well, it's 15 minutes. We're about to find out. Yeah. This is the part I just gotta... You can fly! Think of Hate this fucker. I love to laugh. I'm about to die. See? It's a fucking glitch. It happened last time, too. So I know, last time. It happened. That was the first way I died on the first run. So it doesn't matter if you had the tinderbox or not, I guess. Not anymore. Okay, attempt number eight. Attempt number eight, feeling great. That's a lie. <laughs> I feel very upset with this game and okay. myself. Three, two, one, start. Not off to a great start. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can nail this. Usually when I prepped it properly, I can hit it on the first go. Nope. 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 There we go. Okay. Okay, what is the distinction between when it's clicking past an entire dialogue and when it's clicking one screen at a time? Uh, right click clicks past the entire dialogue, but sometimes they're but, in units. Uh, so I think it has to do with the programming in terms of... Um, you know how they have the segmented yeah. dialogue, so it can oh, so it depends on which part of the segment you click on. I well, I, yeah, I think I think it depends on their the dialogue's broken up in different ways. So um, some some of the dialogues are like this is a whole unit of dialogue you get if you make a decision. Because some of these attempts we've had to see more screens. It's than also other sometimes times. I've left clicked instead of right clicking. Ah. Because when I right click, the fear is I'll overshoot and then change what the cursor is. Ah. So this time I've been doing a little more left clicking to see if that would. That's what killed me two times ago. I'm, was... I'm, I'm glad you remembered this because I forgot. <laughs> yeah. And that's what killed me two times ago was uh, I left clicked instead of right clicked through and then tried to walk and got stabbed. Bam. Bam. I honestly wonder, and not for you because I know you don't like touch screens, but like. Playing this on an iPhone where you could actually, like, touch the part of the screen you wanted to click on. I wonder if that would make it easier for somebody. Maybe, but with the precision you need with this, I feel like that'd make it harder for a lot of them. 
Because, like, the finger is not as... Exact. Yeah, it, it depends on... If you had a stylus, maybe. Like, it, playing it on a tablet, that's, that's what, a stylus. I, was, I, had to, I blanked on what the fuck I was trying to grab, and I'm like, Nightingale? No. This smells like... It's a metal toy, toy, not a human. I always appreciated how he's just straight up wearing, like, dishwashing gloves. Yeah. It's gonna Lysol the shit out of some humans. Oh, well, I suppose that would be the way to get shit out, is Lysol. Your candy dish is empty. Ooh, I hate not getting what I want. Is that what he says? Yep. Damn. I think you need a refund on that genie, sir. Yeah. Uh, flute. Genies are supposed to give you what you want. Okay, so, awesome, I'm on the right eye. Also, Land of the Green Isles genies are a real upgrade from uh, Colima genies, which just give you give shit you, you don't get to ask for. Give they, you, they decide what you want. <laughs> they give you three things of their choosing. Yup. Land of the Green Isles genies are bound to you for as long as you own their lamp. Yup. That, yep. They're basically, I mean, they're basically slaves. Lifelong slaves, but they're magic. Let's not unpack that. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot to unpack about genies in general. Yeah. Did it just speed up? Like, it's not been this fast before, right? It feels like it's... I can't tell if you're actually moving faster, but your walk cycle is looping faster, I think. Oh, that might be what's happening. We also might just be going insane. <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom, boom. I like the rubbery bounce of the chess pieces in Chessboard Land. I choose to believe it's the ground. It's not the, I, I choose to believe they're made of like marble or something. I mean, but they, the ground is bouncing. They might be. But look at that fucking ground. I mean, we see them sort of squash and stretch as they move, but that, that's true. I mean, so they might be rubber chess pieces. That might all. Or their chest flesh. Chest flesh? Fuck! No, that just bad. That sounds so bad. Motherfucker, what? What? I did not click there! I kinda did. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I zoned out because I was like, oh yeah, just wait for him to leave the screen. I'm sorry I distracted you with chest flesh. Yeah, that happened. Restart. Okay, attempt Ten number nine. nine. Nine, which is the Nine third is the three. third, <laughs> the third, third times the charm.